All right, G7s, we're going to continue our talk on water pollution and what are some of the issues. Um, we already mentioned that water is a scarce resource and that only about 1% of our fresh water is contained in rivers and lakes and that that's the main source of uh, drinkable water. And so there's not as much as we think. And on top of that, not all of that water is actually able to be uh, consumed by humans because of various sources of pollution. Uh, so what are some of those sources of pollution? There are going to be uh, five of them. The first source of pollution that we're going to talk about is household waste, okay? which can include sewage. Household waste would be any kind of waste that is uh, from your daily lives, garbage, um, there's the school bell. Uh, garbage and sewage, which is a nice way of saying uh, the stuff that comes out of the toilet that might be flushed into the river. Some people's houses uh, on the river, their toilet goes straight into the river. And that can definitely affect that. We've all seen very dirty clongs and water that is uh, very dirty. And that is mostly from household waste and that's one type of pollution that we might be trying to identify and we'll be finding out some of the effects that it might have. Another source of pollution would be agricultural or farming. That's a word for farming there. Um, so waste that comes from that. So that might be chemicals sprayed onto the the farmers fields and that that chemical then when it rains washes into the river. That might be fertilizers that have all sorts of chemicals and nutrients in it that when it rains again it washes into the river. That might be uh, the, the poo from all the animals and uh, what happens if you live right down the river from a cow farm and you know, what happens to all that poo that gets washed into the river. Um, and so all the things that might be coming from farms, chemicals for uh, pesticides as well as fertilizers and poo from the animals might affect the quality of the water that we're drinking and it might affect the, the plants and the fish in the river. Okay. Now a third source of uh, pollution is industry. So not our daily lives, not our farming coming up with food, but our industry, our factories and uh, things that quite often dump all sorts of harmful chemicals into the rivers. And uh, how does that affect the quality of the river? It could make, could change with harmful chemicals. It might um, change the pH of the river, making it more acidic or more basic um, and affecting the, the fish and the plants that live there as well as the people that use uh, that river for their daily lives as well. So we have household waste, agricultural waste, and indus industrial or industry waste. Um, we also have a third type of contamination which uh, would be contamination, sorry, um, meaning not things that are happening continually but are sort of rare occurrences or not supposed to be there such as big oil spills or chemical spills but we're not just talking about uh, a ship crashing and leaking oil although that is a major source of contamination we're talking about the oil that drips off of your car onto the road and then when it rains it washes into the river okay? um, that is uh, chemicals that might be spilled on the ground that get washed into the rivers as well. Um, so it's sometimes our daily use and our vehicles and cars and trucks and ships are often major sources of contamination um, that are considered separate from indus industry and industrial use. Um, our last major source of water pollution is uh, heat pollution. Uh, the picture there is actually of a nuclear power plant. We're not concerned as much that the water becomes radioactive, but often in power plants we, we do that by heating up water to turn to create steam 
to uh, spin the turbine. That actually generates the electricity. And what these power plants do is they often take water in from the river, they heat it up to steam to turn the wheel to create the electricity, and then they just let that, water, that steam turn back into water and then they dump it back in the river. Well, that can really heat up the water and it, that can kill the plants and the animals, uh, which often need very specific temperatures. So heat is also a major source of pollution in terms of uh, certain areas and certain activities. Um, so when we look at pollution of water, we're talking about household waste, we're talking about agriculture and farming, industry, factories and things like that, contamination from vehicles on the roads and in the water, and heat pollution from certain types of power plants and factories. And those are our major sources of water pollution and we're going to try and see what effects do they have on rivers.